Hello everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Today is Monday, October 25th. And today, very simple concept. And I talked about this last week about believing. Believe, just believing. I want to give you a, sh a quick story and a little business insight of why you should believe in everything you need, you want to accomplish in real estate. Now, I'll give you some example because I been in the business over 30 years, I've had other businesses, I've had other uh, income opportunities that I was involved in, so many things, and I'll give you a reason why I love real estate the best, and that's why that's all I do. No. I have so many people ask, do you, do you have investment properties? Do you have other businesses? And I said, I had all that. It's all gone. It's all gone, you know, because I, I can't share one thing where I know the most opportunity was, and that's in real estate. So first, let me give you a quick story. Uh, back in, I mean, we all know this, hopefully, you, you took history class. <laughs> in 1962, President Kennedy sat there at, uh, I think it was a college um, uh, graduation or was at a college or something. I don't know the specifics of that, but I remember him saying that, that at the end of the decade, this is 1962, by the end of the decade, they, he wanted to put a man on the moon. Yes. There, we put people on the moon. I know there's people out there that don't think it's real, <laughs> but but he believed at that time in 1962 that they would, before even knowing all of the things that they had to do and the specifics of that, he believed that that was possible. And of course, spoiler alert, it happened. But the reason why I'm bringing up that story because for me, if I was in that position, you know, as a president or whatever, I could believe that, but I don't know if I could say it to everybody because who knows? I mean, I'm sure you could read this somewhere. Oh, they probably don't even know how many people and companies and things and timelines and new technologies that they have to create to take that belief and make it possible and and not even knowing that just having that drive and that push and he believed it and made other people's believe it too and made it possible now where I'm, I'm going to the next step into other businesses compared to real estate is there's so many businesses out there. The businesses that I have a hard time grasping in my mind as an entrepreneur is all of the successful businesses that have to rely on so many moving parts, people, uh, locations, product, uh, logistics, those I'm in awe when I see successful businesses that could take all of these components of things that you need to put together and get all of these people and to believe in the one thing. I'll just even I'll throw down just exam, a quick example that we all know a successful restaurant. And I was in the restaurant business for many years for a while. The amount of people that you need to have a successful res restaurant, you got to make sure you got the right product and have a place that, that a company and or several uh, companies that will bring you the right things to cook, the right foods and the right spices, the right everything. Then you got to make sure they take they bring it on time, make sure it's fresh. Then you got to make sure you have the right people in place in the storage facility, and then the people, you know, the the host or hostesses and the the bussers and the cleaners and the chefs and make sure they're there and then the servers and making sure they're trained and they know what's right and then have the right uh, chef and, and, and sous chefs and all of that. So anybody who's been in the restaurant business or knows some in the restaurant business, how many people to get that are needed to get one meal on a plate is, is crazy to me. Just the amount of business. So I have any successful restaurant, I have um, at all by how they keep it all together. Now I'm getting to real estate. You know how to be a successful real estate agent and sell as many houses as you want. You know how many people you need to start with and how what things you need. You. That's it. You and a telephone. 
that's the belief the belief i believe that anybody watching this video i know that can be successful in real estate without even having you next to me and talking to you face to face because i believe that every single agent that has a license can do it because all they have to believe in is themselves and their ability to talk on a phone and communicate with people and it's just you that opportunity to anybody that has have had other businesses that had other interests or work just think you don't even have to think i think everybody here that's listening to this video has had another job so you might not have owned that company or, or manage that company but think of all the people that that company that you worked for had to get moving in the right direction and all the things that they needed the products the the location uh the deliveries whatever business it was the specialization of employees that had to do certain things like back to the restaurant you need someone who knows how to cook or a chef that knows how to make things delicious for a restaurant to be successful. You can't just get anybody to do that. But in real estate, you just have to believe in yourself and your total control of what you do every day and being having the belief that every day you can maximize everything you want. And you don't have to be open from nine to five. You don't have to make sure you're that you could work, you could decide to say, you know, I gonna work really hard for three hours today and prospect and find new people and have a good conversation and believe that it, you're gonna condense your work day you don't have to work eight hours you're gonna work three hours i see very successful agents that work smart not hard that are working five hours a day six hours a day not 20 hours a day you get to choose that and you get to put your success level like <clears throat> there's unsuccessful businesses um, excuse me <clears throat> there's unsuccessful businesses that still have to work and be open and be in operation from 9 a.m. till 10 p.m. or 9 to 5 they they can't decide how much they could work because they their business is in a way that they have to be work no matter if they're successful and have a profitable day or not you as a salesperson as a realtor get to pick your hours what kind of business opportunity does that so today believe in yourself believe that you have all the uh, uh the tools the technology the thought the uh, the belief system because whatever you believe that's what's possible that's what happens if you believe that you can't do it you're not going to do it if you believe you can do it and you have the things in place you're going to do it so think about that today just a, a quick thought about belief <laughs> today and that's it for today on a monday remember i'm here for you if you need me call text email me anytime and have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow on tuesday Bye bye